Gretchen Schmidt-Hasler and I'm the brewmaster of Hayes and Teas and today I'm going to give you a little tour of my brewery. Come on in. Now the brewing process is really pretty complicated and I'm not going to go into too much here. I'm just going to give you a little idea of what's going on and first we're going to start by talking about the equipment. A lot of people wonder what these brass vessels are, and these are the vessels where the beer is actually brewed. It looks like two vessels, but it really is three. This one over here is the brew kettle, and that is where the beer is actually boiled. Over here, uh, this is the coffee kettle. The bottom half is a hot water reservoir, because I use an awful lot of hot water when I'm cleaning and brewing. And the top is real important, that's the mash tun, that's where it all begins. In the morning of my brew day, I start by putting about 400 pounds of crushed grain, malted barley. It's mixed with hot water, and certain enzymatic reactions occur. Very basically, the hot water activates enzymes that convert the starch and the grain to sugar. That's important because that's what we need because the yeast gobbles up the sugar and turns it into alcohol. So the whole process takes me all day long to brew one batch of beer. So the grain, the grain is in the mash tun and then the sweet liquid that's, that's created from that goes into the kettle and that's boiled and that's what's going to become the beer. Everyone wants to know what the hops are, and the hops are an ingredient that are added uh, during, during that boiling process. These are hops. These are leaf-type hops. Okay, so it's boiled, it's done. Then what's going to happen is, what is going to be the beer, it's not beer yet because there's no alcohol in it, is going to be transferred into one of the fermenters. These are the holding tanks. These are the beers in progress. And what happens in here is that the yeast, uh, the yeast is added after the transfer, and the yeast gobbles up the sugar that's been created, and it, it turns that sugar into CO2 and into alcohol. So you have to think of the beer as being alive. It sits in the tanks for uh, about 10 days, 8 to 10 days, and then it's going to go downstairs into one of the serving tanks. So it's going to go downstairs through one of these little pipes, these stainless steel pipes here, and it's going to go into a serving tank and come right up to the bar. We'll see that a little bit later. The last step in the process is sending the beer downstairs in one of the serving tanks. This is a room that most customers never get to see. This is where we have all of our beer. Each one has its own tank, and the beer that you're drinking comes um, up for, through these lines to the tank. The main ingredients in beer are water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. By combining these different ingredients, I'm, and I'm able to come up with a variety of styles. Here's a sample of our six current beer selections. The lightest body beer is our um, is Miss Lucy's American Wheat Beer. It's a filtered American Wheat Beer. Next we have Rosie's Pale Ale, another filtered beer. Nice and hoppy. Um, Rocket Red is an amber ale. Our Pumpkin Porter is a seasonal beer. German Alt Beer. And our Stout. These medals are all for Maxwell's Dry Stout, which has won three medals out in Denver at the Great American Beer Festival.